Let's go. Now we will be doing part two of our video. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so from here, you can now subtract all these numbers, just like it was a regular equation. And you subtract all on both sides, you would get... So from there, going back to the basics of statistics, well, you need, you need the numbers, oh, I think you need two, three, four, five, So for A1, it already has an 8 in that row. So A1 cannot equal 8. A2 doesn't have, and uh, A4 has an 8 already, and A8 already has an 8. So you would know that A2 would have to equal 8. So from there, uh, so from there, you would know, so A2 equals 8. <laughs> so now we need 2, 3, and 9. So A1 has a 3. Like it has tutorials, but I click on it. A4 does not have a 3. A8 has a 3. So A4 would equal 3. <laughs> And then you need still you still need a two and a nine. A one does not have any hey, what? of those. For example, oh, a two has a nine. Two and two. So okay, A one doesn't have a two or nine, and A eight does not have a two or nine. So these two will have to stay as variables for now, and then you would continue on with each row until you find the boundary of each of the variables. This is how you start the A one.